Minecraft Legends captures the flavor of standard Minecraft well. The action strategy spin-off has a new but familiar art style, a colorful world full of creatures and a procedural map to explore. It doesn't bring along Minecraft's substance though, and the result is a genre mashup that's disappointing as an action game and as a strategy game. Building forts and village defenses is more utilitarian than aesthetic. I abandon any semblance of wanting to create something that looks nice by stringing together my various defenses at ugly angles, knowing full well they'll be battered down by piglin hordes by nightfall. In fact, I welcome that. The only way to remove misplaced walls is by agonizingly removing them post by post, so I'd rather leave the demolition work to my enemies. Days tick ahead steadily, faster than I realize at times thanks to the game not allowing me to pause when playing in solo and each night the piglins may choose to attack one or more of the villages on my map. Waves of enemies arrive at night to overwhelm my village's defenses, and it's at this point I realize how tragically bad the combat in Minecraft Legends is. Legends has avoided calling itself a real-time strategy game, opting instead for action strategy, because I have control of my own hero character and command my units from the ground rather than a godlike RTS perspective. Ultimately, Legends has wound up with a style of combat that serves both action and strategy very poorly. It requires intense micromanagement without actual strategic depth. The action part consists of a single button to swing your sword back and forth, and the strategy is a glorified escort mission, playing helicopter parent to your armies. Every battle makes me less a commander of armies and more a minder of preschoolers, zigzagging through my own base or an enemy fortress to hold my toddler warriors by the hand. I'm constantly losing track of where I've put them because my own defensive walls block my view of the battlefield and the HUD compass is a poor substitute for a proper minimap. Coming up with interesting strategies feels pointless because Minecraft Legends lacks the tools I'd need to enact all but the simplest of plans. I'd hoped that assaulting the largest fortress for each faction would present an interesting challenge, but they do require that I use my LAs to turn netherrack into normal blocks I can build my own structures on. But otherwise, they're just a drawn out version of every other battle, standing directly behind my units watching them plink away at an enemy spawner until I need to give them a new order. I haven't even bothered mentioning a structure upgrade system because there's just nothing to it. Unfortunately, co-op Minecraft Legends only alleviates the game's issues in the way most co-op does, just providing someone else's company in the midst of monotony. The worst part is that Minecraft Legends didn't have the decency to be an obvious dumpster fire. As a piece of software, I've got no complaints. I've had no issues with frame rate, multiplayer connectivity, bugs, crashes, or control layouts, but it's a disappointing game. Minecraft's values of creativity, intrinsic motivation, and player choice didn't make it into this shallow spin-off. 